As it goes uptight. What is he doing? He wants to talk, but he's not talking. Does he not want the baby? You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ryan, what are you doing? Driving. Driving like a grandpa. I'm going to speed limit. You're driving two miles per hour. You should pull over. We need to talk. Okay. I think we should get married. I don't understand. You said your house was taken by the bank. I bought it back. It's yours. Why are you doing all of this, Byron? Isn't it obvious? I'm falling for you. I, I can't. Easton's my ex. Look, none of that matters. Just answer me this. Do you have feelings for me, too? Are you going to invite me inside? <laughs> There's a lot more to see. <laughs> it looks exactly the same way as when I left it. How? I thought the bank removed all the furniture. I pulled some strings and they put it all back. I can't believe this. <laughs> Cora, let's get married. Let me take care of you. Let me protect you and our baby. Protect me? That sounds a little dramatic. Cora, when I had Tommy look into your family's assets to buy this house back, there were some shady things that came across my eye. What do you mean? It's not my fault. Byron Hansen showed up at the last minute and ruined everything. I don't even want to marry that loser anymore. He doesn't love me. I got him telling Cora that he still has feelings for her. Love? Since when has marriage ever had anything to do with love? Seems like you've forgotten where you come from. Mom, don't call me that, you useless brat. I went through hell to get rid of Thomas Lane so that you could marry into the Patton family. And now you've put everything at risk by pulling that little stunt yesterday. I was just trying to get rid of Cora. Easton was confessing to that. That's your problem. You can't keep your man in line. Better question is, why is Cora Lane able to have Byron Hansen wrapped around her little finger when you can barely even hold on to that mouth breather that is Easton Patton? I... I'll fix it. This marriage alliance is happening, one way or another. Get your shit together, Mia. I raised you better than this. I expected you to be smarter, stronger. I'm leaving for Europe in a few days. Do not make me fly back from Europe to fix your fucking mess. No, please, I'll, I'll make it right. Then get the fuck out of my office and go make this right. Mia, remember, I plucked you from the orphanage. You come from nothing. And I can always make you go back to being nothing. Without the Thompson name, you're as low as a servant in this city. Yes.